pays off everybody kicking and pushing on the biggest out. This Prince at the biggest push. I ain't lying. I know y'all probably like where well, I've been and y'all ain't seen me in a while. I was going so hard. Nigga was consistent every day. I know y'all seen Jimmy. I know y'all seen K3, my engineer shit was here. We was going crazy every day. Tearing down that lake. Every day, I ain't gonna lie to you. So, man, that's not why I'm here, though. That's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to get y'all this third time about what happened last week with the LAPD. Yes, the LAPD. Yes. Boom. Me and the guys, I ain't gonna lie. Me and the guys had a hell of a good time in LA. Y'all know that. Y'all been seeing it go crazy. I seen how y'all ain't going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We even flew TT out here for a little bit. So, boom. Whole time we out here, we marketing, we networking. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know we all making music. We getting shit going. Showing everybody the label, showing everybody, letting everybody meet us, let everybody know who we are. We went to hella parties. We touched down everything, as y'all can see in the vlogs. What? <laughs> but now, long story short, so. I get the I get uh get on the phone with the owner of this, this uh club called Highlight Room out here. If y'all from LA, I know what the Highlight Room is one of the most popping clubs in LA. So we pull up, call the driver, get the driver, boom. Get to the Highlight Room, we get there. So we get to the Highlight Room, chilling outside, we chilling, boom, 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 hella girls, all kind of shit, hella niggas, it's packed, it's a packed night. So, long story short, we come out of Highlight Room, after everything is said and done, everything over, we get in the car. I kid you guys not. I kid you guys not. We made one right. We didn't even get down a block. We didn't even get down a block. We made one right, y'all. We made one right around the corner. One right. Bro, it was seven police cars and ten officers. Y'all do the math. Seven cars, ten officers. And here's the catch. On top of the seven cars and ten officers, it was also a LAPD chopper on top of us. With that big ass light. Y'all know on GCA how when y'all get pulled up, y'all get the five stars. I'm gonna put it up there on the, <laughs> on the cameras when I edit, but y'all know when y'all uh, get five stars and the helicopter pull up and got the light on y'all, we had that, yes. So, I'm in the back seat, Jimmy in the back seat, came through the front seat, the driver driving, of course. So we pull it, we make the right. The car pulls us over. The car pulls us over. We see the, we see the cop car come. So me and Jimmy in the back seat, then it's a joke. The driver, of course, is like, we're getting pulled over. So we like, huh? He's like, bro, we're getting pulled over, bro. We're getting pulled over. I look back. I'm like, hell no, nah, we can't get pulled over. So I'm in the back seat, sitting just like this. Literally sitting just like this. In the back seat, phone not, smoking, doing what I'm doing. Jimmy passed me the blunt. So then, boom, we get pulled over. The cop car pulls up. Yeah, y'all, she's back. She's finally, she's finally in one of my videos. Besides on the phone, she's back. What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Hey, yo. My car pulls up. Mind you, seven of them. It's not, y'all, I'm sure all y'all been on a routine stop where y'all been put up for a ticket or something before or a speeding. It's never been seven cars. So at this point, when we turn around, I'm thinking they plied on us. I'm thinking somebody snitched on us. I'm thinking somebody did something. But in LA, you can't really get in trouble for drugs. Weed, of course. So I'm like, what can we have done? So the officer comes to the car. It's one on my side, one on Jimmy's side, and it's two in the front on the two front doors. And of course, they're doing that because we're black. They're doing that because we're black males. All the officers are white and Hispanic. So they come to the window. Jimmy flicks a blunt, hit, hits the officer in the face, and they think it's me. He flicks the blunt out on my side of the car, hits the officer in the face. So that's one strap. So at this point, they, they think we're up to shit. They think we're up to doing something. They think we're doing something bad. They already looking at me bad. Twin and hit this nigga in the face with a blunt and burnt this nigga in the, in, the, <laughs> in the face and shit. So boom. They get to searching the car. I'm lying. I'm not, I'm not even there yet. So they come to the car. They tell the driver, of course, license and registration, to give it to him. So the whole reason that we get him pulled over, y'all, a routine stop, is because the driver had bad tags. Yes, we had a driver that we just met that I paid for, and we had a, he had bad tags. The driver had bad tags, y'all. So we get pulled over for that. So immediately, after they see the bad tags, they see his license stuff is expired. The, the helicopter, the guy in the helicopter, you know how they had an intercom, just like on the video game? Driver, please step out of the car. Please step out of the vehicle. So the driver gets out, hands up, walks around the corner. Next, they tell K3 to get out. K3 gets out, hands up. Next, they tell me to get out. So I get out, play with me because I know young, rich, black men, they trying to fuck with us all it is. They see us, we, we have emotion. We look good, we dress nice. We got a driver, they wonder who the hell we are. We not, we not just a known face of LA, so they wonder who the fuck are these, are these three black young men. So we, I get out the car. Me, I'm texting because I'm thinking this shit. I'm thinking this shit's still a prank. I'm thinking this shit's like a game. So I'm saying I'm thinking somebody playing a game on me literally. So I get out the car. I'm texting and shit. They draw their guns out, and there's no yap. 
No yep my rap, no no bullshit. I, I pull out my phone while I'm getting out the car, I'm texting. The officer draws his gun. Matter of fact, three of them did. They drew their guns. Sir, get off the phone. Do not reach in your pocket. So I, I get off the phone, put my hands up, just like this, and I walk to the wall. After that, they, they tell Jimmy to get out. So they tell Jimmy to get out. At this point, we're all on a, on a brick wall, mind you. I just told y'all we have the highlight room. We made one right. We, we're not too far from the club. So it's hella cars, about 150 cars. It's hella people outside. I, I, I saw the club. They're just watching us, watching what's going on. So, of course, I'm embarrassed. We three three young superstars, basically. So we, we just killed it in the club. We just performed all kind of shit. Just went fucking crazy. So, everybody that's in, that was in the club with us, watching us. Everybody that was outside the club, watching us. The light still shining. Bright as shit on us. You can see the light shining in the truck. You can see the light shining on us outside. So, boom. They got dogs and shit outside. I'm like, God damn. It's, it's no way that in a split of like literally 10 seconds, y'all had dogs and all those cars on deck. So, either somebody snitched on us. For nothing, just being haters or y'all, this cops were literally plotting on us because we literally handsome and black and you're hung. <laughs> so in a sense, so we get we on the wall. They detain us. We handcuffed, hands behind our back, cuffed up. It's a male. It's, it, no, it's probably seven male officers and three female officers. The, all the males were white besides one, and the, and the two females are Hispanic. So the, the the female officer was on me, and it was a female officer on um, K three. And the rest of the officers was just behind us, and there was a male officer on Jimmy. And they had the driver around the corner. We couldn't even see him. He was around the corner, like, around the building. So, that being said, so, moving on from that, so the officer comes up to, comes up to all of us. Of course, they get our IDs. So, they, we give him our ID. And my, my engineer is white. Y'all met Josh. No officer on him. There was no officer behind him. They just detained him. There was no officer on him, though. They, nobody spoke to him. They didn't even take his ID. They take all the IDs. So, the officer comes up to me. She gets my ID. The first thing she asks me is, ask, ask, ah, uh, Boy, if you don't. First thing she asks me is, how old am I? I tell her, Burp. I'm YL. <laughs> Boom. But I, but I tell her my age. She proceeds to tell me that I'm lying and she has my ID in my hand. Mind you, I have two IDs. I have two Texas State IDs. She tells me I'm lying. Both my IDs had the same thing, had the same address, had the same age on it, all the same birthday, everything. She tells me I'm lying. So she asked my, she asked my age probably about four or five times and I give her the same answer both times. So then, after that, she, t she runs my ID. Of course, it's valid because it's ID. You can't make up an ID unless you get a fake. And even nowadays with a fake ID, they can still scan the and let it be real. But we ain't even gonna get into that right now. But she scanned my ID, they ran it, came back. She still didn't believe I was 19. <laughs> she still didn't believe my age, y'all. She still did not believe my age. So boom. Then, they on, then so then after that, she proceeds to take pictures of all my tattoos. Because you know, in LA, in LA, the gang violence is very big. The gang culture is very big. So I'm from Texas. We don't really gang bang. Yes, there's gangs out there, but gang banging is not as heavy as it is in LA. We're not, we're not really big on the whole Crips and Bloods thing. We, we put, they pretty much, yeah, it is that, but they pretty much gang bang where they from. Out here, that Crips and Bloods thing is still heavy. So colors are still a big thing. So of course, y'all see all my tattoos. All of my tattoos are red. I got tattoos on my legs too. All of them are red. So she, the next question if she, if she comes to me with is, Sir, do you gang bang? Do you have any gang? Do you have any gang ties? Are you gang affiliated? I said no, ma'am. She asked me this three times. I gave her the same answer. No, ma'am, I'm not. And I don't even know if this is, if this is legal, but she proceeds to take pictures of all my tattoos. She took a picture of my neck, both of my hands. Y'all can see. Took a picture of my hand, both of my hands, my arms, and she's writing down on a notepad what my tattoos meant. So she's asking me, do I gang bang? I'm no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I do not gang bang. Then she's asking me again. So why are your tattoos red? I'm like, ma'am, I just love red ink. My skin is, is, is light. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like black or green ink looks good on me, so I always get red ink. Every, all of my tattoos have red ink. So she's asking me again, do I game bang? No, ma'am, I don't. So on top of that, she's like, well, what, is, what does the V on your neck mean? Of course, all of y'all that like clothes, that like fashion, y'all know what b Lone is, y'all know who Barry is. I actually met Barry when I was 17, and he actually sent me a pack. You know what I'm saying? What's it called? So I have a V on my neck. It says for V loan. It also has my birth date in, in, in it. So she's still asking me, what is the V in it? When are you does it mean? Does it... Huh? Asking me, what does the V in my neck mean? Like, does it mean buy store or anything like that? So I'm like, well, ma'am, no. It means V loan. It's a brand. Didn't believe me. So then she started asking me, what does YL mean? I have YL behind my ear. And I have 4Y behind my ear. She asked me, what's YL? What's 4Y? I'm like, ma'am, 4Y means forever because instead of saying for forever we say everything in the Y so it's forever so it's literally like I say for life or for life we say for a while which is forever so it's basically like 
I'm loving you forever. So then the YL on my neck behind my ears, but actually the Yellow Land Records is short, which is YL that's what we throw up. You know, everybody with my comments, every time y'all see me on McKelly channel on her live, y'all always telling me I'm, I'm throwing the rolling sixties when I do this and when I throw up this. No, this is YL. It's not I don't game bang, I'm not a crip, I'm not no blood, none of that shit. And the only thing I bang, anything y'all want to say I bang is YL. It's on my neck, it's behind my ear, all that shit. I don't bang anything else. So besides that, she still asked me do I game and she take pictures of all my shit. I'm like, nah, I don't. The officer that's on, on Jimmy. He's asking him because Jimmy has a, a, a license to carry a ID. He's asking him, "Where's the, like?" And, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all the voice that he's asking him in. Where's the gun at, bro? Where's the gun in the room, in the truck? Where's the gun? Mind you, they're searching the truck. They, they, they searched my bag. They searched Jimmy's duffel bag. And mind you, LAPD, LAPD, fuck y'all. Y'all searched our bags, threw everything out, and then put it back in our bags. Y'all were some assholes. I really wanted to whoop one of y'all ass. That shit fucked up. Y'all threw all my shit out. I had, I had a bottle of Tom Ford in there. I had a bottle of Dior in there, I had shoes in there, and I had a, uh, clothes in there. And y'all threw out my shit out, and I had my, my beats in there. Y'all threw out my shit out. I don't know what Jimmy had in his bag, but I'm not throw all that shit out and left it in the car. And we had to put it in the bag myself. Fuck y'all. So, on top of that, they're asking Jimmy, where's the gun at, bro? Where's the gun? From Texas, huh? Yeah, that shit's not, that shit's not gonna fly out here. That gun shit's not gonna fly out here. Where's the gun? Is it in the room? And I'm like, if it's in the room or not, what the fuck you gonna do? It's in the, if it's in the room, what can y'all do? Y'all gonna come, y'all gonna t uh, detain us, go to the room and then get the gun? You know what I mean? So it's like, come on now. So they're being very sarcastic. So me being a being a young guy I am, I'm telling I'm, I'm turning around playing with. Him. I'm, I'm I'm telling the officer I'm like, man, you too pretty to even be out here to be doing this fucking with us late at night. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm fucking with. Him, but I know we haven't done anything. I know it. End of the day, like I said, we just met the driver that night. That was my first time ever riding with him. And, but we needed a driver in LA because our driver's in Houston. Bernard, shout out B. But we needed a driver in LA because we didn't want to drive. We knew we were gonna get drunk. We knew we were gonna be smoking all that shit. So we didn't want to drive. Boom. First time meeting this guy, so they're asking us, do we know him? Hell no, we ain't snitching, but shit, fuck it, we don't know you guy. I don't know who you are, put it down, I don't know who you are. You know what I mean? I don't even know your name from Adam. This on you, you doing bad business, you know what I mean? So, they're asking Jimmy that bullshit, they're on K3 ass, talking about his hair color, all kind of just dumb shit. So, then they proceed to like, well, trying to, I guess like, get us to get on the ground. Mind you, we all got on designer. Jimmy got on the Miri's. I got on a Hermes, a Hermes, but I got on fucking Amiri's. I got on a, a, I forgot what kind of sweater I had on, but an expensive ass sweater. K3, of course, fly as hell in his own shit. So at this point, I'm turning around. I'm like, man, I'm not getting on the fucking ground. So of course, it's all kind of shit running through my head because we outnumbered. I done seen this shit with, with, with the past few experiences with black men. Rest in peace to George Floyd, but just my pride would not let me get on that fucking ground knowing damn well it's damn near 200 people watching this. It's a light flashing on this brightest day. I got expensive ass clothes on, jewelry on. I'm not finna get on no fucking ground. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. So, the, what, we weren't really resisting because we were outnumbered, but I just simply told her, man, we didn't do anything. I'm not getting on the ground. And my thing is, at this point, anything y'all do, my family, Jimmy, K3, all lawyers are good, paid for. So, anything y'all do, LFPD will be sued the fuck out of there. We're gonna get rich for real. Like, rich, rich. You know what I mean? So, it's like, make smart decisions. You know what I mean? So, we didn't get on the ground. They just kept talking shit to us, kept talking shit. And it was just like crazy, like it was it was like a crazy experience because life can really happen in flash so fast. Like we could have went to jail that night for anything, because the driver could have any bad he could have had drugs in his car. Well worse than what we had, but he could have had more drugs in his car. He could have been he could have been wanted, he could have had guns, anything. We went to jail with him just because we're black and we we're in the car with him. You know what I'm saying? So shit is crazy how life can really just do this. And our life with a flash in an instance. You know what I mean? So it's just like it's crazy how shit goes, but we didn't get on the ground. So they're kind of just like well, who the fuck are these guys? So me, me again, being a sarcastic guy I am, I turn around, I tell one of the male officers that's behind Jimmy, I'm like, hey bro. So I just told y'all we all make music. Mind you, I'm talking like this behind behind my back like this. I'm like, hey bro, I just told y'all we all make music. How about this? I know all this shit gonna blow over. You know what I'm saying? So how about this? Y'all go download all our songs right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So his sarcastic ass, he pulls out his notepad and says, sure, I'll do it. He writes down all my singles, he writes down all cat three singles, he writes down Jimmy's uh, last album. I'll download it. Boom. So that shit happens. So at this point, they're just talking, trying to get anything out of it. So at this point, they don't find anything. They searched the car three times. They had dogs. Oh, I didn't even tell you this part. They also thought, mind you, we're all out of the car. These niggas go draw down on the truck, thinking there's more people in the car. There's nobody in the back. They're like, sir, whoever's in the back, get out. We're, we're, I turn around. I'm like, bro, we're all out of the car. There's nobody in there. Y'all tripping. Y'all got y'all guns out of shit. There's nobody in the car. And mind you, we're unarmed. I said that earlier too. We're unarmed. We have no weapons. They didn't already patted us down. They checked the car three times. In, in the back of the issue, in the back of uh, y'all know how those black trucks in the back in the trunk is like a, a compartment where you can lift it up and like hide shit in there. They checked that shit. They had dogs, all kind of shit. It was nothing in the truck. Y'all pulling guns and shit for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So 
it was just a crazy ass night, and I'm just looking at them like at this point, y'all done searched the truck, y'all done took our IDs, there's nothing on this. Mind you, they found weed in the car, they found other shit, all kind of other shit, but they picked it up and put it back. All they really wanted to find was a gun, because in LA, I think the minimum for a gun in LA is like 15 years, even for a pistol. Mind you, in Texas, I bought my first assault rifle when I was 16 years old. Yes, that's crazy, ain't it? Yes, I'm gonna say it again. When I was in Texas, I bought my first AR when I was 16, an assault rifle, not a handgun, an assault rifle. Out here, I think the minimum for, for a pistol case is like 15 years, which is crazy to me. You're gonna fuck a, a man's life over for a pistol case, you know what I'm saying? So, that shit, so. At this point, they got our IDs. They just searched the car multiple times. We just, we just on the wall, just people just looking at us, staring, taking pictures, all kind of shit. We just out there detained, looking around, talking to each other. Me and Jimmy laughing and shit like, damn, fool, this crazy. Me and Katie laughing at each other. We like, damn, fool, this shit crazy. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, is God telling us to slow down? What is it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is God really just telling us to slow down? Like, he wanted to chill. So, that shit going on. So eventually they talking to the driver now at this point. We just detained. They just talk they talk to the driver trying to get shit going. Get shit out of him asking him questions. So boom. They finally said they gonna let us go. So at this point, they start they starting to let us go. Mind you, they had them fucking cuffs tight as shit. Jimmy had to get his shit loose and me too. They finally let us go, get a truck. Now we on the driver ass. We like, nigga, why in the fuck would you come out here and drive us and your shit bad and you know your shit was bad? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We're like, bro, boom, you fucked up. Mind you, that night we still paid his ass. We still paid his ass the four hundred dollars that we had, that we owed him for the night. And I, I noticed I, this. The next thing I'm gonna say is coming. It's coming outside the story, but boom, I gotta say it. Cause obviously the driver, fuck you too for almost fucking my life up and my and my team and my label mates, nigga. Fuck you. This, and mind you, this nigga been blowing my phone for the past couple days. I'm some fucking money. Fuck your bitch. We paid you the night that we almost got arrested, bitch. I ain't giving you no money. The next night. And Dwight Howard, you see this, is your driver too. Dwight Howard, shout out, shout out to you, but fuck your driver. The next night, we go out again. We use him. But we thinking, most, like most businessmen, you done fucked this up one night. We think you finna give us a, a, some some leeway shit. The next, the next ride gotta be free shit. The next two rides gotta be free. Nigga, you almost just cost my life shit. We need something, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But now he blowing my phone up because we ain't pay him that night. This the second night, not the first night. The first night, mind you, the, the night that we almost to jail, we paid him four hundred dollars. That's what we owed him. The next night, we owed him five fifty. We didn't pay that shit because nigga, you almost had to go to jail the night before. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how that shit go. He blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up, blowing Jimmy phone up, blowing Jimmy phone up. Prince, 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 can you please send my money, bro? Please send my money, bro. Hitting up Jimmy. We like nigga, fuck you. So at this point, I'm ignoring this nigga. I know I told you, you know I'm ignoring his ass. Still hitting me, still hitting me, still hitting me. You know what I'm saying? So. It was just a crazy ass one night. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like LAPD, fuck y'all. I understand what y'all going on, but we were, we were three Texas young men. And we had to do anything. Y'all fucking with us because we're young, rich, and black. And on top of that, for any nigga that was in that club, y'all did tell us, you a bitch. You a hoe. You told us. That shit is fucked up. We didn't do anything to it, but show y'all a good time. We popped bottles. We performed. Did all kind of shit. We showed love. We showed Houston, I mean, Southern, uh, Southern hospitality. We didn't do nothing wrong. So. It's just crazy to me how, how life can really just do this in a sense. Wrong place, wrong time, being with the wrong people. So everybody, lesson learned. Be safe. Make smart decisions. I can't say don't smoke weed. I'm going to still smoke weed, so I don't want to tell you how to do that. But if you're a kid, don't smoke no weed. But other than that, make smart decisions. Be safe. Everybody be careful. And, yeah, make sure who's ever driving has everything up to date. Beat it! And I'm not the boy, so you know. Sometimes I got bankrolls. Yeah. Little bitch begging me to have sex. The sun ain't on water, she wet as my neck. She sucking my dick while I'm sipping some red. Mix walking oh. Addy, I'm out of my head. Ain't moving when niggas, these niggas be fed. Little bitch got her body, she thick in the leg. Selena will break a Chanel on her chest. Yes. Yeah. The bitch get better and better. In love with the pusher, little baby, I'm flattered. And yes, I got bitches, but baby, you matter. These niggas ain't working, I'm climbing a ladder. One time in V swing, I got strikes for a better. Women love yeah,